Hi guys, um, so today I am going to be planting some elephant ears. I've been looking for an elephant ear plant for quite some time, like years. That wasn't going to cost me $150. And um, I got really lucky on a shopping trip out and um, found some elephant ear bulbs. Um, so they're kind of funky looking, kind of scary. I didn't exactly know what they were at first, but um, I got a really good deal on them. They were only $12 and I got two bulbs, one really large one and one that's a smaller one. So today I'm going to finally um, go ahead and get them planted in their pots and I'm really excited about it. I want to see how this turns out, how they grow, if they grow, and um, I'll continue to keep you guys updated on it. But um, in the meantime, I've had these sitting around in my backyard for a little over a week now, so I really want to get these potted and started. So let's go check that out. Okay, so here are my mammoth elephant ear bulbs. Um, as you can see, one here is really large. The other one is really small, but um, yeah, I want to get these planted today. Um, they even had provided some instructions here on the back. So the first one says, select a well-drained location that receives full sun to partial shade. Dig a planting hole six inches deep. Uh, number two says, place bulbs in planting hole, pointed side up, cover with soil. Then they provide a bunch of little planting tips and facts here. I did um, learn that these are pretty hardy. They um, do like the sun, but they also really love the shade. So you have to be really careful about where you plant them because you don't want them in full shade or full sun all day. Because I'm sure they'll just burn the leaves. But um, they're really pretty leaves and fun fact for those of you that don't know elephants are my favorite creature so let's go ahead and get these taken out and get a closer look at them so they are out of their packaging got some sprouts here so i think i gotta plant it with this part up and that's the part that will grow out um i also read that it takes about three weeks for these to root so after three weeks they should be rooted pretty well in the pot I'm going to put them in and um, yeah hopefully shortly after that we'll start to see some actual leaves growing but I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that let's get these things potted the pots we're gonna plant them in I wanted to get at least um, some 18 inch pots 18 to 20 inch but these are 16 only I think um, it'll work out fine actually I got these for a really good deal as well they were only nine dollars at Lowe's and I could not pass that up so we are just gonna work with what we got here Okay, so in the 16 inch pot, we've got about four inches of soil in here so far. So I'm gonna put one of the bulbs in and get it all covered with dirt. Um, pardon the background noise, our AC has been blasting for probably 72 hours straight. We have triple digit heat here this week and it's burning up.
see now it's completely buried in this pot here. I just took the foil up to this top line. So the bulb is actually um, buried under about five and a half inches of dirt, uh, believe it or not. So get that um, compacted and we're gonna add some water to this as well. Just want to show you guys that big thing of soil I had. Well, it's down to here now. So about half of that huge bag is gone. Um, something else, if you want to garden on a budget, I would strongly recommend you guys check out Big Lots. I got that dirt from them and it only cost me nine dollars. So in case you're curious, you can check it out for yourself at your local one if you have one. They had tons of other things for the yard, decorations, um, they had pots there as well. Um, but yeah, I would say definitely check it out for a gardening on a budget. two going in. Don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but um, these things need a lot of water. You have to keep them watered daily. At least that's what I read. Um, they need it. They're quite thirsty. And especially, I'm going to be keeping mines in morning sun. It's going to get sun until about uh, 1 p.m. in the afternoon and then it'll have shade the rest of the day after that. So I know these little babies are going to be really thirsty um, because of that. But yeah, I'm going to finish up number two and then get this done. And yes, people, these pots do have a drain. As you can see, all that water just drained out of this one, so which is really important. You always want to have some sort of draining system for your pots so they don't just constantly sit in water. All right, on to this one. Potted, watered, and just to show you how much more dirt I used. I actually am surprised I have more dirt. So I didn't actually use the other half down to about here, which is nice because I always have a need for more soil. So there they are. There's one. There's two. And I designated shady spaces for now. I try to film as much as this video in the shade as I could, but I don't get very much in my yard in the afternoon. But I tried. I'm sure you guys noticed. Because um, it's really, really hot out here. Okay. That was really hot. Um, I'm back inside now where there's air conditioning and a fan. Um, Anyway, yeah, so that's all done. When you guys are doing your own plants or playing in your garden, I would definitely recommend that you do it in the shade or when it's cooler, not when it's 101 degrees outside because you'll end up looking like me. I don't know, I'm getting like tan lines from my glasses. You can see all this perspiration, it's not pretty. I mean, even my mustache is sweating, so. But um, anyway, 
thanks for watching guys and if you have any suggestions or tips um i gladly welcome them and i will like i said over and over again keep you guys posted on how those elephant ear bulbs grow and i'll i'll do an update hopefully sooner and not later thanks for watching